What's up, it's Jad T. Jones, and in this video, I want to teach you how to have masculine edge. When you have masculine edge, it gives you that special magic something that makes women notice you. In case you don't know me, my name is Jad T. Jones. This is my girlfriend, and I've been a dating coach for over 12 years. If you want to be the kind of guy that gets noticed when you walk into a room, you must have masculine edge. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to define masculine edge, tell you why it's important and show you exactly how to do it. Now, if you're serious about attracting a beautiful girlfriend, you can click in the description at any time to check out my girlfriend mastery program. This program is specifically designed to help you attract and date the women you truly want. Okay, so what is masculine edge and why do you need it? First of all, I want to let you know that I want to demystify this whole concept of masculine edge. When a lot of people hear this guy has masculine edge, it seems like some ethereal thing that you can't really grasp and that only some guys have. I want to let you know that this kind of magic is something any guy can have. It's a quality, it is a skill, and you can have masculine edge just like every other guy out there. So with that, let's begin by defining masculine edge. What is masculine edge? Masculine edge is that special magic something that women look for in a man. Having a masculine edge means projecting a sense of masculinity that is both attractive as well as compelling to women while also conveying a sense of mystery, excitement, and even an element of danger. Put simply, to have masculine edge, you want to come across as a bit of a badass, a bit of a naughty boy, and you do not want to come across as an innocent, harmless, nice guy. Now, if you've been following me for a while, you know that women's biggest need when it comes to attraction is the need to feel safe. What you need to understand is that a woman can only feel safe with a bad motherfucker. In other words, when a woman meets you, she's looking to see if you have that masculine edge. And if you do, she's going to think and feel, okay, I can feel safe around this guy. And if she doesn't see that masculine edge in you, she's not going to feel safe around you. And when a woman doesn't feel safe around you, she's not going to open up sexually towards you. That's when she's going to put you in the friend zone and see you as just another nice guy friend. So let's talk about how you can start having masculine edge. I have divided this into three categories, your body language, your attitude, and your identity. Now, because I'm a very freestyle kind of person, I'm going to mix these together. Okay, so I'm going to talk a bit about body language, a bit about attitude, and a bit about identity. But in the end, you can divide them into these three categories. So with that being said, let's start with the let's start with the attitude so a guy who has masculine edge has a backbone what does that mean having a backbone means you're able to say no when things don't serve you having a backbone means you're able to defend yourself having a backbone means you have standards and rules as to how you accept to be treated and how you do not accept to be treated and you enforce those rules when a woman talks to a man who has a backbone she's gonna feel okay this man has rules this man has standards i have to be very intentional with how i speak to this man because this man demands respect so when we're talking about having a backbone and masculine edge you can connect these two in this way if you have a backbone, people are going to feel a certain edginess to you. Meaning, I know if I push this guy around or mess with this guy or talk to him in any sort of disrespectful fashion, he is not going to hesitate to call me out and to put me in my place. So women should feel that from you. It's very important. You need to understand women think in a sophisticated way, meaning 
She wants to know that not only will you not take other people's shit, but that you won't take her shit. She wants to see that you're not only going to let you're, you're not going to let anyone uh, walk all over you or take advantage of you. She wants to see that you're not going to let her walk all over you or take advantage of you either. A guy who has masculine edge, a guy who respects himself, does not um, allow other people to walk all over him or take advantage of him. So a very common quality of a guy with masculine edge is he puts himself first. He puts his needs first. So let's talk about this concept of put yourself first because a lot of people misunderstand it and think it's somehow a selfish, unloving thing to do. What I'm going to tell you right now is that putting yourself first is the absolute most loving thing you can do towards yourself as well as towards the world. In an airplane, when you get on an airplane, what do they tell you during the safety procedure? They say, make sure you put on your oxygen mask on first before trying to help anyone else. The logic behind that is this. If you don't put your own oxygen mask on in time and first, you may pass out and be unconscious. And now instead of being a help to some other people in the plane, you have now become dead weight. You are now a liability. Take care of yourself first, make yourself strong first before you can be strong for others. So when you put yourself first in life, here's an example. A girl may say, oh, can you uh, watch my apartment for the weekend? Because I'm going out with, uh, I'm going away and I have my cat. Can you go feed my cat? What if her apartment is like an hour away from you and it does not serve you to go and watch her apartment? You're going to say, you're going to put your needs first and you're going to say no, right? So the nice guy, even when something is very inconvenient for him and somebody asks a favor of him, he still says yes. He still puts the favor asker's need in front of his own need. And you never want to do that. A woman will, like, there's probably no faster way for a woman to lose respect for you than for her to see that you don't put yourself first. So do you want women to respect you? Do you want women to see you as a powerful man? Well, then she, you should, you have to show her, sweetheart, no matter how much I like you, how much I'm attracted to you, how much I love you, make no mistake. Jad puts himself first for all our sakes, for your sake as well. I know that I need to make myself strong first before I can be strong enough to serve the world. If you go around your life subjugating your own needs to serve the needs of others, what you're going to do is you're going to empty your own tank and eventually you're not going to have any more gas in the tank because you're giving, 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 giving in ways that you shouldn't be. So your tank is going to be empty. So you're not going to be strong. And now what have you done? You haven't served yourself because you've emptied your tank. And now you're weak for others. So you can't be strong for others when they are actually going to need you. So it is your responsibility as a man to always put yourself first and then show women, hey, sweetheart, you know, if your request is uh, reasonable, maybe I'll think about doing it. I'm going to put myself first. So men who put themselves first have no problem saying no when the, the, when the request does not serve them. Now, there's another aspect of this that I can't help but throw in here, even though it wasn't initially part of the training, which is the rule of no free favors. Okay, be very careful not to think not to try to win a woman over just by doing her favors that she doesn't deserve you to do for her okay basically you're not having sex you're not she's not your girlfriend and yet she's asking you to wash her fix her car or do something no the answer is no okay if you're going to be doing favors for women um, either she better be like your girlfriend or there better be some kind of relationship there and second of all i recommend that if she asks you for a favor in a very playful way you say sure i would love to help you fix your car on the weekend and afterwards, you can take me out for a uh, ribs dinner, okay? A dinner, you can buy me ribs, okay? So it's, it's an exchange. It's not just a free favor. 
This is very important, okay? When a woman sees that, oh, this guy's intelligent enough to know that, um, you know, okay, he'll, he's going to help me with my car, but he's asking for something in return. He respects himself. He knows that he deserves something. And he's not just another nice guy that I can manipulate. So when I tell a woman, sure, I'd love to help you with this or that. Uh, and you're going to do, if you do this for me in exchange, now I'm showing her, listen, sweetheart, you and I are on the same level. You're not manipulating me to be your free assistant. I will help you, but you're going to pay me back in another way. So that's a very important distinction. So when a woman asks you for a favor and she's not your girlfriend, your answer should either be sorry, no, I can't, or you don't even have to say sorry, okay? No, I can't, or sure, I would love to if you're going to do this thing in exchange, right? So again, I say it very very casually. Oh yeah, I can help you with your couch and you know, later you can buy me dinner. What do you think? Okay, something like that. And hey, if she wants to pay, uh, then I'll help her move her couch and she'll buy me a good dinner and balance in the universe is restored. So let's shift a bit and talk about body language. So this is just the mechanics. If you have masculine edge, which means you're a bad motherfucker, you put yourself first, you have standards, you have rules, you know who you are, you're not apologetic for who you are, well, then you're going to look people in the eye. You're going to have strong eye contact. Now, I'm, talk now, I'm not talking about something too extreme, but use your intuition, okay? A powerful man holds powerful eye contact. He looks you in the eye when he's talking. And a lot of times he waits for the other person to look away first. When you look away, when, when you're looking at someone and whoever looks away first is usually the less dominant person. Now, don't get obsessive about this because in life there are so many dynamic situations where it would actually be appropriate for you to look away first. But just know the concept that generally speaking, the person who looks away first is the less dominant. So it's a domination tactic, you can say. So ideally, you want women to be looking away first when you're looking at them. You want to have very strong, constant, sure, sure of yourself eye contact with women. Your eyes are kind of like the window to your soul. It can tell a person how much or how little you like yourself. When I'm holding someone's gaze in a very strong and steady way, I'm letting them know I know who I am and I'm not afraid. Okay, I know who I am. I'm sure of who I am. I'm not apologizing for who I am. And I'm here. I'm taking up this space. So a man who has masculine edge has strong eye contact. Another thing he has is he is very grounded. So what does it mean to be grounded? It means several things. One description is he doesn't move around too much. He just stands there. Boom. Okay, you have your feet planted. Boom. You're just standing there and you don't really move that much. You're kind of like a statue. Now, again, don't take anything I say to an extreme where you're going to become stiff. But generally speaking... A man who's inside of his power won't move very much. Additionally, he will move slowly and intentionally. He is not in reaction to environment. He consciously chooses to respond to environment. One thing you want to make sure you avoid is fidgeting. Stop fidgeting. Whether you're fidgeting with your phone fidgeting with your hands, fidgeting your clothes, stepping back and forth between one foot to the other, looking around in a frantic way. Don't fidget. Stay cool, calm, relaxed, confident, grounded. Grounded means it's kind of like you're, you're rooted in the ground and people can feel that. That's a feeling that comes across. This guy is so sure of himself that he's able to stay kind of still 
and strong and grounded, just sitting here, just standing here talking to me. So another part of masculine edge is that you're a bit edgy with your communication, meaning you're a risk taker. An edgy guy isn't afraid to say something a bit controversial. An edgy guy isn't afraid to flirt with her. An edgy guy isn't afraid to give her a bit of a direct compliment like, damn, you look good in that dress, right? An edgy guy isn't afraid to go to the edge and risk going too far. So what does the nice guy do? He's walking on eggshells and playing it safe. That's not edgy. The edgy guy is a risk taker. I invented a saying, to be a seducer is to be a risk taker. To be a seducer is to be a risk taker. You're not going to be able to play this game if you're not taking risks. I have another saying, in order to get a woman, you have to risk losing that woman. In order to get a woman, you have to risk losing that woman. What does that mean? That means you have to risk telling her that you like her. You got to risk flirting with her. You got to risk walking up to her. If you don't take any risks, you're never going to get her. And you got to risk taking things too far and being too flirtatious and too forward and too edgy. There's always a risk involved. So the edgy guy is a risk taker and he's risky with his communication. Another element of being a risk taker, and this is kind of back to body language, is the guy with edge looks at her in an edgy way, meaning he lets her see the desire he has for her. He lets that see it in, her, in his eyes. Okay, You got to let a woman see that you desire her. Okay, A lot of guys are looking at women like this. Hi, how are you? Oh, how are you? Oh, you look nice today. Oh, yes. What a nice, lovely day it is, isn't it? Right? Asexual. No. Have a bit of an edge. Look at her like, like a man looks at a woman and let her see that you're looking at her like a man looks at, at a woman. That's the edginess she wants to see from you. So in conclusion, having masculine edge is not some mysterious thing that some guys have and other guys don't. If you watch this video over a few times, take notes and start implementing this into your game, you too can have that magic something that makes women notice you and see you as a potential lover and not just as a friend. Now, if you're serious about getting a beautiful girlfriend that you're truly attracted to, click the link in the description, check out my Girlfriend Mastery program and see if it's for you. Masculine edge is a big piece of the puzzle, but obviously there are a lot of other elements involved in getting a really beautiful girlfriend. So I'd like to help you out with that through these videos as well as through Girlfriend Mastery. Thanks for watching. Drop me a comment and give me a request for what video training you would like me to drop next on YouTube.